So we have a surprising amount still on the line today. There are two different avenues by which we could qualify for Europe next year. We've got the cup final against FC Copenhagen. That's going to be tough. Bit of an outside shot as well. However, if we can somehow over the next few matches wrestle away that seventh spot from Brunberg, we still have a chance at getting into that relegation playoff or the uh, European playoff. And I still think that we'd be strong enough to beat whoever we play there. And uh, that's our final hope. Can we get into Europe today? That's what we're going to find out. As always, if you have been enjoying the series up to this point, and I really hope you have, drop a like. That would be fantastic. Helps out the channel. If we could get 300 again, that'd be lovely. You guys have been smashing it lately. Let's keep it up. Up the algorithm ultras. So, our first actual match of pure focus is going to be the cup final, of course, against uh, Copenhagen. But we have a little matter of a match against Vial before that, which we're going to sort of buzz through in a second, of course, with our second game today being a massive one, uh, the home game against Brumba. That could be huge. If we can keep winning the other games, I think if we can just go and try to win as many of the other matches as possible and just hope that Brumba drops some points, it's it's going to be a tough ask. We do still sit five points behind them with five matches to go. But if we can get to within maybe two or three points within that final game, see what the goal difference does. You just never know what these guys are capable of. Look how well we played against them in that away game. Bit unlucky not to win. If we could just get it all together, there's still a chance to make it happen. But we've got to be flawless, and today is the first step towards that against Vile. So let's get cracking. Matos delivers a ball. Early chance, maybe. Carlson's on the end of it. Two minutes gone. We already take the lead against Vile. This is a must-win game for us, and I really see no reason why we wouldn't do, but a good early goal for Christopher Carlson. 1-0 to Matos. To insert to the byline, ball in. Carlson from a distance. It's a great header from Christopher Carlson. 2-0 on 16 minutes. That should hopefully see this match out, but I really do want to put a hammering down to get that goal difference up. Matos, surely not a first half hat trick for Carlson. Oh, it's close. Never mind. It's turned into an assist. Robin Rollinson, 3-0 to Sunia score. We're doing our job at least. It has been given though. Seb Nielsen from the spot with 15 minutes to go. Drills it home and the centre-back scores another one. It's 4-0 to Sunny Uska, but Brumba 2-0 up in their game. So yeah. Well, there we go. 4-0 uh, to Sunny Uska. Very comfortable performance in it. It's weird. Most of our chances actually came from sort of set-piece scenarios, even though we did seem to create a lot from open play today. But a thoroughly comfortable 4-0 victory is exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, elsewhere, Brumba got exactly what they needed as they run out 3-0 winners against Silkeborg. So the gap remains at five points and we've only managed to claw the goal difference back to them by a single goal at that point. Uh, Orby also got themselves an away win but they're not exactly out of the race for this potentially to catch us but they certainly don't look as good as we do but i still think with five points five point gap four games remaining that's going to require but they'd have to drop a point they have to drop some points in a game and we'd have to beat them in that home match now obviously if they could drop some points and we could win which we'd have to in order to do that i think there's still a chance that we could overtake them on the goal difference going into that game anyway so it would be this is still not over, but they are going to... Surely they've got an away game at like B in there or something. I think we do as well, so that's a slight problem. Also, I do apologize in advance if there's any weird like stuttering occasionally on the match footage at times. Uh, I've had some massive graphics card issues that occurred yesterday on stream thanks to a new graphics card update. Um, basically, my graphics card's been on their way out for a little while as well, but it feels like this final update has really just balked it. Um, so I'm having to sort of nurse it through at the moment before I can spend an insane amount of money unfortunately on a new one but that's just how the way that's the way life goes so stay tuned for that i suppose as that now leaves us eight points from them albeit with a game in hand but the goal difference again starts to spread i think we've got to pull off a miracle now with three games to go here we are seedbank pokalan final fc copenhagen versus sunny Uska. Now, we were in the final last year. We won the damn cup. So it can be done, but I don't know who we beat in the final last year. My suspicion is that it probably wasn't FC Copenhagen. Uh, it was actually Midgeland. On penalties, it goes. And Espen Bang scored a goal. Okay, well, turns out it was possible. I wonder how he's getting on at his new club. Man's banged four in nine. How is that even possible? How is that possible? Look at his goal scoring record for us. How is he doing that for Degaforge? What do they know that we don't? But here's the situation. Yallanen picked up a slight knock in training. I tried to take off players where I could after uh, in the second half of the Vial game just to try and keep us fresh. But the problem is, of course, we've got Monday, Wednesday fixtures straight after this. Sorry, no, we've got Saturday, Saturday, Monday fixtures coming up against Silkeborg and Orbey, which kind of decides what happens, really, I suppose, unless we were to win today. And then in that case, it wouldn't really matter. It's just a case of trying to get, well, I guess, eighth. Yes, yeah, so I think that's going to have to be it. At least Rashidi's back. Uh, he was suspended for the last league game, which kind of gave him a sort of ersatz rest. Gorda's back in. Uh, Ilsa and Matos in the middle, and we've seen how well they can do that. It's going to have to be Karanadze, because Yalanen just is not fresh to start here. Gorda at the back with Musabi and Nilsson. Solberg, Storley can start as well. It's a strong side, but I just don't know. And you can also see that uh, Berger Hansen, despite with his 10 goals this year, has really gone out of form lately and i think i might even have a word i think all we can really do in a game like this is play our best 
and hope for the best. They are clearly cut above everybody else in this league. So I think it's going to be an insanely tough task for us to come up with anything in this game. But you just don't know. These guys have proven on their day they can beat some good sides. Uh, a tenure winning headers immediately in the centre, though. That's not a good sign. He looks like he has the beating of our central centre back. I might rearrange those guys a little bit to get the tallest guy on him. Try to prevent something like that. Great save and early, early on there from Solberg. I'm going to make a change there. Weirdly, their striker is only six foot with 14 jumping reach, but he looks taller. Like in the match engine, he looks physically taller which is weird. Although, a set piece could do it for us. Storley, back post. Oh, Musavi was there and it could have been 1-0 Sunny Iska. KG affair so far. No real obvious chances for either side. Just little pot shots and little uh, goo, good clearance again, but the pressure remains on us. We're defending well to start with though. Nudson, uh, a little bit too much spec. Okay, I have questions. Several questions as to like, firstly, why no one went and closed Nudson down there? <laughs> All of you are stood in the box. That's very, very bizarre. And that's the standard set piece fair, unfortunately. Um, they still seem to count it as a corner. And as a result, they just sort of let him walk all the way into the box. And then... Yeah, I don't know. I, that has no explanation, unfortunately. It's like the game still considers it a set piece. And as a result, they refuse to leave their set piece positions. Uh, until such time as like a certain amount of time has elapsed and i can only suspect that that's why that happens sometimes uh, because you do seem to get caught out from those second phases of set pieces way too often especially with the fact that the players don't seem to move properly after them for some reason but nevertheless we press on carlson slips it through Berger hansen hasn't scored in ages can he get it back to his right foot no he can't but he doesn't need to because it's 1-1 fc copenhagen one sunny oscar one Berger hansen rises from the ashes there of not playing very well lately I, it's a failed metaphor i grant you but it's 1-1 Svensson cleared away, but now we have a chance again. Ilsa on the break. Can he find Carlson? He's gone for Berger Hansen instead. Maybe not the best decision there. I'd rather have him coming in behind, but Carlson's there. He's into the box. Or oh, can he pull it back? Berger Hansen. Oh, he's overplayed it, I think. Karanadze! Just wide. Well, half time. I mean, you can see they've definitely been on top. We've had a couple of cheeky little openings, but it is still one. -all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start to trigger a much higher press and try to really mark their two centre mids out of the game, because that's where what only are they getting a lot of chances from, with the creativity of Nudson especially. But also, if we can win the ball off them in the midfield, I feel like we've got a lot of opportunities for counter attacks. So that's our plan, I think. It's really difficult, I'm finding, us actually getting out of that back line. So we might have to look at playing a slightly more direct from our goalkeeper. In fact, maybe aiming balls at Carlson instead, rather than playing it out from the back as often, because it appears that they've pushed up so far that it's causing problems. I've changed our distribution from the goalkeeper. So he's now going to try and distribute it straight to Christopher Carlson so that he can hopefully win some aerial challenges and get us the ball in a higher position if he can knock some, get some knockdowns. Because at the moment, us playing out the back just isn't really working here. Berger Hansen. Oh, he could have played that ball through. But now we've got it with Matos. Here's a chance. Jose Matos scores. <laughs> it's FC Copenhagen nil, Sunny Uska 2, Jose Matos with a huge goal in the cup final against the run of play, but we've just made a few little tweaks that I think have made the difference. Don't know if that one actually did there. You don't always have to be on top to win. You've just got to bide your chances, and that's what we're doing so far today with an hour gone. Here we come again. Edge of the box for... Oh, Rashidi's very narrow. Ilsa! Off the crossbar. Oh, much better. 72 minutes on the clock. FC Copenhagen 1, Sunny Uska 2. It's a good ball through for Atea, and it's a really good finish from Islam Atea. That's just a nice goal. They've just split us open like a nut there. And not much we can really do about that one. It's just an absolutely brilliant finish. He seems to be constantly launching it towards Berger Hansen. And not towards our instructed option. But there you go. Uh, hopefully that doesn't cost us. Because I don't think at any point have I actually seen him hit the correct player with that pass yet. Uh, it always seems to go the other direction. Oh no. Oh no. 93rd minute winner from Lucas Silva. We've given it a bloody good go here. I think we made the right choices at the right times. It just wasn't quite enough. We've given it a bloody good go, though. Only a 3-2 defeat to clearly the best side in the country, albeit they've been comped to be the better team in this game. But I think we made the right decisions tactically at times, and it damn nearly worked for us. I think we were very close to pulling off something ma magical there. Just a little bit of lapsing concentration, a little bit of extra quality from them has been the difference. And there you go. FC Copenhagen 3, Sunny Uska 2. We nearly pulled off something outrageous there, but we still got the lead to focus on. This is not over yet. Now we can get our heads down and focus on the lead because we've got some games. And then more importantly, we've got that final day fixture against Brumba. And you just never know what can happen in that match. Cock out on the right hand side here. Should be intercepted well by Storley, and it is. He's done a pretty solid job defensively this. Oh no! You've got to be kidding me. Odane Murray, 1-0 Silkeborg. And that is just embarrassing defending. We've done that a few times, honestly. That was shocking. 
Jonsson, we can't afford to lose this game. In fact, we can't afford to not win, and that's the problem. We have to try and find a way to score twice here now. And Yalanen, well, has immediately put us level. Consta Yalanen, nice assist from Ufa Jonsson. Still only 17, I think. Starting up front for us here. Nice to see him playing someone in, though. Here he is, from the spot, to immediately turn the game around, and it's gone in. Oh, saved by the keeper. 2-1, and within the space of two minutes, we've gone from a goal down to a goal up. That is a big, big moment in this in this chance, in this race for us, really. Back inside again. Storley, Nielsen on the end of it, and the centre-back scored again. It's 3-1 to Sunny inside 16 minutes we've managed to fall behind and now take a two goal advantage with this team come on lads we need that wide play and there it is actually a lovely flick down from Ilsa. Nilsson has to be sensible here but Ilsa could find the right pass someone will Matos makes the run he's got tons of room this time can he shoot he does it's 4-1 in the first half Jose Matos Sunayuska 4 Silkeborg 1 with this team we are making sure Brumby are not going to win this easily still currently 0-0 between Ranas and Brumby that is is the big result going on right now that could give us hope still if we were to persist with this result obviously scooping one out for Rashiti, but another goal for us here could make it even more complex Rashiti with a lovely bit of space actually pulls it across and it's scored sebastian nielsen with the hat trick from center back technically but he's playing at striker today what a performance 5-1 huge goal still nil nil Still nil nil. I think they're going to get away with it. Sonuska five, Silkeborg nil. A hat trick from Sebastian Nielsen playing as a striker today, but well done him. Yalanen with a goal, Matos with a goal. 5 1 victory is exactly what we needed for that confidence. Considering we had a tired side and no recognized strikers out there, essentially, and we did Ufi Jonsson and Nielsen up front, we did a bloody good job there. But more important than that is that Rana's took a nil nil draw, which means now our goal difference is two worse than Brunbe. That's for sure. We have a game in hand that would take us to within three points of them. If we could just, if we won out, I think there's a chance that we do get that spot. That's the situation right now. It, we'd have to, we'd have to beat them, of course, and we do still have games following up soon uh, against. Well, who have we got? I think we have to play Rana's again, which would be should be a tough one, but I feel like we'd still be able to win. It's the or B game. That's the really tough one, but I feel like Brumbis still have to play them again as well. So you never know. I think the next match day could be telling. Just so, so much on the line here. If we can come up with a victory, firstly, it would guarantee our spot in the league where we currently are, but also it would give us that outside hope provided things go well in the next league game, that we could still be in with a fight going into that final day. But it does require us to come here and win. And this is definitely the toughest game we have left, aside from, obviously, the big one at home. But it's still going to require some serious effort for us to win this one. We have got some more of the first teamers back in the game, uh, certainly in the attacking threat of the game. Oh, Berger Hansen, can he finish it? Gets it back to his right foot. Berger Hansen scores! Or be nil. Sonny Oscar won. That goal could be massive as far as ramifications go. Oh, this little hero. 12 goals this season. Ilsa, nice build up here. And it's around the side. Carlson to wrap it up. Oh, it's gone too wide. Surely he's going to have to turn this back inside. He's been fouled! He's been fouled! And Nielsen's just come on as a substitute and he might be able to take the penalty. This is massive. This, If this is given, this could be a game-changing moment. Hopefully Nielsen was on in time to try and take this. Because he is the designated penalty taker of the team. It's Musevi to take it, not Nielsen. Oh god. And it's saved. I don't know why Nielsen didn't take it. We've got to get this ball to a more dangerous, uh, more sensible position. Out wide, perhaps. Karen Adze, don't lose it here, for the love of God. Do not lose it here. B-scored. Driving into the box. B-scored! Drills it home. Adrian B-scored wraps up the victory for Sunnyuska. That is some football from him. Just taking it upon himself, and it is 2-0, and that goal could be enormous. There we go. Or be nil. Sunnyuska, two. Solbo makes 10 saves in this game. What an absolute don. Johansson's goal, along with B-scored's goal in there too, gives us an absolutely vital away victory in this run. We're now three points away. Well, you can see. There we have it. We are three points away. Equal goal difference with Brumbit. This could be going all the way. We've got Rana's next, and I think that they have to play against Orbi. So there's still a chance that our friends here that we've just beaten could do us a massive favor going into that final game to where if we could get above them going into it, then a draw would be all we would need at home. This could still be, this would be one of the biggest escape, like biggest comebacks ever for me in, in this whole save, actually, if we were to pull this off from here from being eight points behind, admittedly, with a game in hand, but you still have to win them. This is going to be very interesting indeed. And even likes a B scored in the middle, although he's on the pitch straight away, B scored here. Could he give us an early lead? No, he can't. And those are the chances that we could live to regret. Although I feel like B scored might be the freshest player out there. So you never know. Half time, and it's nil nil between Rana's and Sunny Oscar. I've actually turned it on to play for set pieces because we seem to be, that seems to be the only way we're really getting any chances today. Good news, though, in the other game, it is also still nil nil. And first half injury for Brumba. So that could change something. Gunnarsson. Popping one long. Oh, and he's just been done already. Orsland now for Ranas to immediately give. Oh, well, that's had it. Andreas Orsland, 1-0 Ranas. And I just don't think we're going to have the strength to carry on through this match, honestly. But if we're going to dig deep, now's the time to do it. B scored to Karen Adze. Run the side for Ufa Jonsson, the youngster. Could he score his first goal for the club? No, he can't. Not with finishing like that. He can't. Bromba losing. 
It's 1-0 to Ombe. Oh my god, this just gets weirder and weirder. It's 1-0 in the other game as well. We are both losing now. This, this just gets more and more ridiculous. Matos first. Oh, okay. Maybe should, shouldn't have shot there. Ilsa! Good save from the goalkeeper. Oh my god, if we could find an equalizer. Not that it would make too much difference, potentially. But another injury in the other game for our main rival. So if nothing else, we will hopefully be playing against the more battered side than us uh, on that final day. If we can just remain involved in this. Rashiti's got a man near post. Can he find him? No. Big tackle on him, though. Carlson, can he pull it back inside? Rashiti, and it's... He's got it! The post! Well, I actually still don't know how we've managed to lose that game. We have the chances in this game. We really should have won. Uh, to lose this game 1-0 is an absolute shambles, really. I think we should have done much better. But that's just how it goes with the tiredness levels. However, I think our rivals also lost. They did. A 1-0 home defeat for them means it does go to the final day. The goal difference is a level. I'll have to check. But I'm fairly certain if we beat them on the final day, we will sneak into that final spot. The question is whether we've even got a squad to put out for that final game. Same kind of applies to them, I suspect, though, with all the injuries they've got in that match. So this is going to get ridiculous, my friends. <laughs> so who plays in this game? Now, the one benefit we've had, and you'll notice that the players definitely look a lot fresher. Uh, the, the benefit of that was because I basically removed all training and had recovery sessions just to try to keep the guys vaguely fresh and raring to go for this one. And as a result, we've actually ended up being able to field quite a strong side and quite a fit side, I must say. In fact, I'm to sort of go with that, in fact, I'm going to put Rollinson in as well because I feel like he's our best option there, honestly. We can bring on Karen Adse. Carlson probably isn't fresh to start, but I feel like he kind of has to start, honestly, because we just need him so much out there with his aerial presence from corners. That's worth a goal sometimes, and I do wonder if that could be the case today. But I'm happy to bring on Nielsen in the second half as a substitute striker because he can do a job as well. Now, as for who they might be, I don't know. So Hansen is their top scorer. He's in the team. Carlson and Valgerson are the two... Carlson was one of the injuries. That much I do know. That was definitely one of the injuries. So that's kind of good. So missing one of their top assisters this season is definitely going to help us, hopefully. But this is going to be major, major difficulty. Um, Let's get stuck in, friends. The players have reacted really, really well to the team talk, which is phenomenal. And let's just go out and do it, shall we? This It's just so hard to know what to expect from this. I've seen how well we've played against these guys. Uh, we were very unfortunate not to win that first game, but it was my mistake with the whole substitution thing that cost us there. And in the second one, I still have no idea how we didn't win that. We created so many chances and they basically created an out. So, oh my God, straight through. Matos inside seconds could have given us the lead already inside 15 seconds. And uh, well, their goalkeeper once again showing why he's conceded 14 less goals than perhaps he should have done statistically this season because of making saves like that. But a very strong opening five minutes for us is exactly the way we wanted to start. Ilsa, look at the space in the middle again. Carlson, Matos, can he slip it through? Finds Berger Hansen has missed the target. They're getting torn apart through the middle at the moment, and that is perfect. Rashiti, ball in. Carlson's header scores at the back post. Surios go one, Brumbit nil. That goal could be worth literally millions of pounds to us were we to pull off the, a miracle in the other games. The league table is updated. We would go top on goal difference as things stand here. And we finally managed to score against them. That's also something. But, you know, we've seen good things from them in the past. I feel like they could turn this around. But not if they keep giving the ball away through the middle. I think those extra recovery sessions have just maybe allowed us a slightly fresher squad than them. Carlson, Yalanen, through for Berger Hansen. Could he finish this time? Goes round the goalkeeper. It's another huge save from Raudsepp. My God. Oh, I forgot. Nice. Now Storley's on the ball. Got to look back through to the middle. Oh, wow. Just jinx to the left-hand side. Can he find a good cross? He's got a man supporting him. It's Ilsa. Can he find the right pass? Yalanen! Good save again by Raudsepp. Wow, if we could get a second goal, and we really do need to, I feel like, Storley. And it's... No! No! Oh my god, how has that not crossed the line? I don't know how we're not two goals to the good here. They surely won't be this bad in the second half. Carlson into the box. He's still got it. Pops it across and Matas is there! It's 2-0 to Sonny Oscar. That is a enormous goal right on the stroke of half time i was worried they changed something and they're gonna need to because they're getting battered here two nil to sunny oscar i mean that might be one of the best first halves any of the teams we've managed in this save have had honestly two nil carlson at matos and we still feel aggrieved that we shouldn't we should have had more hansen burger hansen's throw could he finish it off and he's missed the target that was a huge chance to kill the tight to kill the game look at this just allowing these kind of runs ilsa's through could he finish it and he can't finish it because it's another big stop ilsa but again space is opening up yalan and matos through for another time this time and another save from raudsepp oh no tell a lie yalan's found a pocket of space here we go again carlson here we go ilsa round the side for storley he's still got it you know this is not over yet Bodies arriving, players on the edge of the box. Ilsa's there, he's cut back inside, and he slots it home, and that's surely going to be it. Sonny Oscar 3, Brumba nil, and Ilsa with the goal, thoroughly deserved. We have absolutely twatted them today. Come on. Oh, if a Hoti 
Nice little touch, actually, from Wang Xin. Good chance. Johansson! It's a great header from Mikkel Johansson, and it is a way back into the match now for Brumba. I think we just have to shut it up, right, don't we? Brumbu won. I realize I'm probably butchering the name of the club. It's a real tough one. Those Danish Ys really do throw me off a little bit. So I'm doing my best. It rolls out of play, and surely now we've managed to somehow, out against all the odds, pull back eight points in three matches to grab ourselves that spot. What a, what a performance. Look at that. Their goalkeeper still made ten saves in this game. He only gets a seven, but he deserves so much more than that. He saved so many chances from us. And, well, they didn't really deserve the goal that they got, but that right there is what we can do on our day. And they're a good side. Let's not make any mistakes about it, but these guys just stepped up. Oh, now what? We've managed to sneak into first spot in the group with 50 points on the final day of the season. As you can see as well, Ranas do survive uh, despite Silk. I think they might have actually pulled themselves out with the win against us as it goes. Still quite surprising to see them actually pull themselves out of the way there. And also, Vile. Ended the season on 15 points. A lot better than we thought they'd do. Hopefully it's not immediate. It's 10 days and oh my god, it's a match against Esbjö. <laughs> you couldn't write this any better than this, could you? This is perfect. So yeah, stay tuned. Oh my god, it's a single game. It's not even two legs. There is one match to go. It's away at Esbjö. If we win there, we would be in Europe. Finances looking very healthy. 5.2 million pounds. Very, very nice indeed. I want to see what our budget's going to be like. But first, we have the little matter of this game. Just thought you'd like to know. Jules Gordon of Sweden just won the Europa League against Sporting. That's kind of mental, but GG's to them, I suppose. Also, if you want a little bit of a preview about the sort of players that we've been able to find so far, just with our scouts, not me doing anything, this is the sort of guys that are in the pipeline. Look at this lad here, Joe Pritchard, 25-year-old striker at the New Saints. I mean, tell me he's not interesting. Look at the price. He's got, he has Wales caps for crying out loud. How on earth is he still here? Oh, good. Here's a bit of nice news. So, Constant Yalanen, Omar Karanadze, and Sokol Rashidi are going to miss the relegation, the, the European playoff game because of international duty. What kind of stupid scheduling is that? It's all on the line. Incredibly, we have a chance to deny Esbia Europe. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, this is the perfect revenge story. It's the derby against the guy who got the job instead of us for seemingly no reason, the club that snubbed us. We could deny them Europe. What does our assistant record? On the plus side, so Rashidi and Yalan are out. I have no idea how this is going to work. Oh, God, it's not great, is it? Oh, God. Right, the what on earth? Three substitutes. Are you out of your damn mind? Hang on, where are other players gone? So Ilsa there, Matos there. We we're obviously missing several different players, and this is going to cause problems. I, I think I'd still rather have Carlson play as a deep line forward. Ufa Jonsson sat there. Um, Musavi in midfield? No, no, Bisgord, surely. That will allow Musavi to play in the back line with the, probably the strongest back line we can field as it goes. With Nielsen in there too as an option for Carlson if we need to. But on the plus side, looks like two players are on injuries as it goes. And our assistant has kindly decided that we're going to tackle both of them really hard. <laughs> nice one, assistant. This is just it. This is just everything to us right now. Manu Sanchez's side with a couple of slightly injured players in there. We're basically fully fresh. We've had a nice 10-day rest. So have they. But it appears that obviously they've had... A couple of guys come back from injury. We're obviously bit part in the team together with Jonsson and B-Scored in the team, but what can you do? We just got to go out there and win. If we play as well as we did against uh, Brembu, then there is a huge chance that we could pull off something here, honestly. How much space we got through the center of the pitch in the last game. I don't think we're going to get that today. So we really are going to have to rely on the likes of Storley and Ilsa. So here's Kyur out on this right-hand side. Popping a ball in, and Kwame's, what a save from Isaac Solberg. That is a crucial stop early doors. And still try to track some nice runs through the centre. Carlson dropping into that little space. No one's going to be able to pick him up. Matos is in. Jose Matos! And it's wide of the post. And Hansen actually gets a touch on that, I think. Ooh, sorely from distance here. He's gone for it. It's a good save by Ango. But now we have a chance to maybe get Carlson on something. That near post is still looking a little bit like his domain here. Gets the header in on target, and Ango saves it again. Feeling it. I mean, we could always get Ufi Jonsson in there for the second period, maybe. Try and switch things up a little bit. Matos slips it through. It's B scored. Hey, he's going to have to shoot here. Adrian Biscord scores! Come on! On the stroke of half time, Esbjörg nil, Suryuska won, and of course it's Adrian Bisgord. The forgotten man in this team comes up with a huge goal on the stroke of half time and not let Traore just drive through us here. That could be really, really important. Jacobs cures through. Oh no, please no. Oh God. I mean, maybe Solberg could pull off a miracle here, but that was the chance. I felt like this game would be decided on simple margins like that. Unless... Sorburg can save from Hansen, and he doesn't. Esbio find an equaliser less than a minute after we took the lead. We just couldn't seem to survive. Matthias Hansen's first goal of the season for Esbio. Of course it was. Well, it was looking good up until that. To score in the 45th minute, and they concede pretty much immediately after that. Oh, dearie me, lads. Come on, don't let that be what costs us Europe. And it's well cleared. Very well cleared. Ufa Jonsson has got Berger Hansen into space. A rare touch of the ball for, for Steiny, honestly. And that's a, an average pass, but it could still turn into something. It's a good shot. Well saved. He maybe could have just held that ball up and waited for the overlap from Jonsson. But, you know, 
Needs must. About to make a quick little change. Uh, yeah, Slimeburger Hansen's going to come off. I'm going to put uh, Ufi Jonsson up through the middle, move Carlson back into the attacking mid roll, and bring on Nielsen up front because he can just give us something a little bit different in there with his defensive qualities. This is a chance for Matos! Why is that on... What? Why would that be offside? Goal awarded! Come on! Huge moment! Well, I mean, that substitution might not matter anymore, but great work again from Adrian Biscord, pulling out a beautiful little slide rule pass across the box, and who could have been offside there? Jonsson, drop it off. Nielsen gets it back again, finds Matos again. He pings it off the crossbar from, from Matos. Wow. Oh, God, it's gone through. Thomas Blad now playing it right back for them. Jacobs drills it over the crossbar, and that might be Esbjerg's chances of Europe going away with that shot. Oh, God, no, it's not. We've still got more minutes to go here. Jonsson just has to keep that ball moving. Nice. Find Storley. As long as we've got the ball, we hopefully can't concede. Can he put, put a ball in? Nobody has won us a corner. Brilliant work. Just have to hold the ball. Just keep possession. B scores through, drops it to Matos. Could he finish it? No, he can't, but it doesn't matter because we're in the Europa League next season. What a win. There we go. B scored on Matos' goals. I mean, obviously, the penalty makes them look better than they were. We kind of gave them that, but what a victory that is away from home. We've actually gone and done it. I can't believe this. <laughs> That is an absolute blinder. On their patch, in front of their fans, they turned us down. Well, now look at you. Where are you? Not in Europe. That's where you are. Here we go. Board set initial budget. So we had five million pounds in the bank. We've just pulled off a miracle. What are they going to do for us in terms of budgets? Do you know what? It's, it's not a lot, but where we are, that's workable. It's nearly a million quid. It's nine grand in wages. We could probably use that I mean, that Welsh striker certainly intrigues me, that's for sure. I think we could... I mean, it's still going to be tough to make a lot of signings with that. It really is going to be a case... What we're going to have to do this year, really, is focus on the Europa Conference League whilst just hoping that we get Championship Group and not really worrying too much about it beyond that. And then trying to get as much money in the bank as possible from the Europa Conference League and going as far in there as possible to build up a hedge... Like a, he like a big pile of money that we can start using to try to transform this squad because it's still going to take us a couple of seasons to transform this into something i want because firstly we have to transform it into what i want then we have to give ourselves depth from within that and that takes several years but this is the first step towards doing that and i do think we're on the right track and i think we've proven that this team can do it and to come from where we were to where we are now is even at the start of the video this has been quite the roller coaster, my friends. If you've enjoyed this episode, and I really hope you have, what a, what a journey that's been. Drop a like. It would mean the world to me. We'll be back on Monday, hopefully, unless my graphics card gives out by then. Subscribe. That'll be awesome, too. I stream on Twitch Tuesdays, Thursdays, and, of course, on Saturdays. And I'll see you guys on Monday for Transfer Window, where, I mean, you saw some of the players we were looking at. I think we could really make this team into something really nice, at least the beginning stages of something really nice, to get things going for next season. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye.